While Rahul Gandhi mocks Prime Minister Modi's Howdy Modi event, his general sounds a warning, says he is India's PM, respect him. And that warning is coming in from Shashi Tharoor. The Howdy Modi uh, event tomorrow uh, happening in Houston. Listen, this is a, a difficult question. We disapprove of many things Mr. Modi says and does. But when the Prime Minister of India is going abroad, we wish him well because he has to carry the flag of the nation outside the country. So I don't want to say anything more critical of that. Inside the country, we have a lot of things to say against his policies and his mistakes, which we believe are many. Outside the country, he is the Prime Minister of India. Let us respect that. The Howdy Modi uh, event tomorrow uh, happening in Houston. Listen, this is a, a difficult question. We disapprove of many things Mr. Modi says and does. But when the Prime Minister of India is going abroad, we wish him well because he has to carry the flag of the nation outside the country. So I don't want to say anything more critical of that. Inside the country, we have a lot of things to say against his policies and his mistakes, which we believe are many. Outside the country, he is the Prime Minister of India. Let us respect that. All right, let's now go across to uh, Meghna, my colleague, joining us from the news page. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shashi Tharoor is one of those first leaders in the Congress party who said, let's criticize policies and not personalities. Let's not demonize Modi. And he continues with those views despite his party's stand on Howdy Modi event. Well, we have to think as to why Shashi Tharoor thought it so important for him to publicly come out and sound a warning to some of his own party members, perhaps even Rahul Gandhi, to go back to what really instigated uh, Shashi Tharoor to come out with a tweet like this is perhaps Rahul Gandhi's own tweet. Well, Rahul Gandhi, remember earlier, had said, how the economy doing, Mr. Modi, ain't too good, it seems. Well, this is the way Rahul Gandhi, the former president of Congress, thought it fit to mock the Prime Minister right ahead of his grand welcome, which is being planned in America, which is why perhaps Shashi Tharoor took to Twitter himself. And he says, as an opposition MP, I have the right to criticize Modi's policies, statements, actions and inaction and expose his failures. But when he goes abroad, he is the Prime Minister of India and he carries my flag. I want him to be received and treated with the respect due to my country's Prime Minister. Why was it important for him to come out? Because remember, here on Times Now, we've been getting you the inside details of how a red carpet welcome is being prepared for Modi. This is the time when we are hoping that his equation and chemistry that he shares with Donald Trump is going to be historic in India-US relationships. At a time like this, is it right for the opposition party to go out there and malign Modi's and spin propaganda against him and his right. policies? Well, Shashi Tharoor has sent out a warning to Rahul Gandhi. Right. And Meghna, uh, let me also go across to Mr. Tom Vadakkan of the Bharati Janata Party. Mr. Tom Vadakkan, how do you respond to this? Because Shashi Tharoor has time and again been holding up mirror to the Gandhis, to the party, telling them, let's only criticize the policies and not the personality. This time around, he's saying, when our Prime Minister goes abroad, he should get all the respect that the Prime Minister of India should get, despite Rahul Gandhi's comments on Howdy Modi event. Well, uh, if I had known the policy line of the Congress at that time was when the Prime Minister is abroad, no comments are made. But uh, the rules that they made, they themselves broke it. And especially Rahul Gandhi, when uh, when the Prime Minister who represents India, you don't criti criticize him when he's, a, he's on a foreign soil. That's been the law, that's been an unwritten law of the Congress for some time. But then that was all redundant in the Rahul Gandhi era. He would do anything just to uh, get a brownie point. And uh, that's where now people have woken up and given them the results that he had to go all the way to Kerala to win a seat. Uh, he was nowhere in the Northern Belt. The point is, people have woken up, you know. These things don't work. There is a civilized society. There is mm -hmm. a democratic process. And there are uh, there there is certain value system that democracy has brought into India. If you forget all that and you try to act for every brownie point, you go and tweet and come into social media thinking that you're making a point. doesn't okay. work out that way. Okay, Mr. Tom Varakan, thank you very much for speaking to us. So while Rahul Gandhi says, how the economy doing Mr. Modi, Shashi Tharoor says he is my prime minister. He represents the country. Let's not mock him and he should get the respect that the prime minister of India deserves when he goes abroad.